Hi and welcome to Data Garden. Thanks for checking out my video. I hope you're doing very well. It is the end of the year and a lot of people want to set some goals for the new year. And oftentimes these goals involve personal finance, taking care of one's own finances. If that is part of your own agenda, then maybe I have just the right video for you today. Because I want to give you a quick tip about how you can import financial time series data very easily into R using the quant mod package. What it allows you to do is load all sorts of data such as stock prices, currency pairs, and also macroeconomic data directly into R without using any Excel or CSV files in the process straight from the internet. So let's get right into it and create a new R file. So if you are not uh, familiar with the quant mod package, then you will first have to install it using the command install.packages and then quote unquote quant mod, that is quant mod. And in case you would rather want to install the binary, uh, which I'm a big fan of, you can type after the second quote, comma type equals and then in quotation marks binary. I'm not going to do that now because I already have the package installed. Or actually we can run it. And there we go. And then we can either use the library command to attach the commands to our environment with library quant mod, which uh, I'm going to do now. Or alternatively, we can of course also type quant mod and then um, double colon, um, uh, yeah, double colon, and uh, then type the command that we want to use, which in this case is get, and then with capital letter symbols like this. And what this command get symbols allows us to do is to essentially get some stock market symbols. And the source from which you can get them are mostly Yahoo Finance and the FRED or FRED database from the Federal Reserve. So let's start with the stock market symbol from uh, Yahoo Finance. So if you're not sure like uh, what the symbol of the stock is that you want to analyze, then you can just use your web browser and go to Yahoo Finance and let's say we want to use the Apple uh, stock for analysis. So let's type into the search Apple and we find here that the symbol is AAPL. So we can type in our R session, get symbols, quote unquote, AAPL, press run, and it takes a moment. And there we see we have the time series object in our environment. Let's click on it to see how it looks. And we see here that it starts at 2007 January 3rd and we have the opening price, the session high, the session low, the closing price, the volume, and the adjusted closing price. And if we scroll down, we find that this goes all the way until um, December 17, 2021, which is the last day that the stock traded. Today is Saturday and there was no trading. And we can also see very quickly that the Apple stock apparently has risen a substantial amount since uh, 2007, where this time series starts. Now you can use this for any stock that you want. You can also add, uh, put a vector in here, such as with the C command, AAPL, and you can add another stock uh, behind for example, um, just uh, noticing here is a second uh, bracket miss uh, missing. So you can add a second stock, for example, let's say we want to also have Microsoft and the symbol for that is MSFT. 
msft press run again and now we see we have two uh, symbols in our global environment now you cannot only use this function for um, companies for stocks that you want to have a look at but also for example for currency pairs so you can type here in the search engine for example let's look at the euro against the us dollar cross rate it will be euro against usd and we see that the symbol for it on yahoo finance is eur usd equal x i'm going to copy paste that into my uh, r code so let's type get symbols again and type quote unquote um, sorry that was the uh, wrong key um, command v is the uh, correct one or control v if you're on windows and let's uh, run this one and there we see a warning message for eur usd x contains missing values some functions will not work if objects contain missing values in the middle of the series consider using na.omit na.approx or na.fill etc to remove or replace them so let's have a quick look at the data set and if we sort it by one of the columns then uh, we do see that in fact at the bottom there are about two dozen missing values which like are in 2007 uh, September or 2008 uh, August and I don't know why these values are missing it's very unfortunate and I recommend that maybe you would use um, like redefine the uh, symbol as era usd equal x and don't forget the um, quotation marks here because otherwise it's uh, it's an equal operator and we will assign that as na dot omit uh, sorry na dot omit and then copy paste the name press run and now we do see that if we sort it again that uh, the missing values are gone now is that uh, the best possible scenario i am not sure to omit the values maybe in one of the later videos we can talk about some good ways about how to estimate missing values in time series data but that is out of the scope of this current video instead let's look at some more things you can get so let's type get symbols one more time and of course nowadays everyone is talking about cryptocurrencies it's here also in the trending ticker so let's look how we can maybe look up the um, time series for bitcoin which is btc dash usd and we can press run oh i forgot to use the uh, uh, quotation marks there um, sorry for that press run and also there we see the same problem with the missing values so let's see how the data set looks in fact it starts only in 2014 here which uh, bitcoin isn't quite that old obviously but uh, we do see that here already the uh, price was 465 so unfortunately the um, time series here doesn't go all the way back to the inception of bitcoin finally there's one option that doesn't involve yahoo finance which is if you want to get uh, economic data such as inflation data or the gross domestic product or the industrial production and so on and you can get that from the um, website of the St. Louis Fed, which is uh, fred.stlouisfed.org. And um, let's look, for example, in the search here for um, consumer price index. And let's look at the consumer price index total all items for the United States and here the symbol for the lookup function is always 
in the brackets after the name here in this yellow bar. So I'm going to copy it. You can see it goes all the way back to the 1960s, by the way. And we can type again, get symbols, quote unquote, the symbol that we just looked up. And now we have to change our command a little bit because the symbol is not on Yahoo, which is the standard uh, source. And we have to type comma src equals and then in quotes um, all caps freed. And there we have it. Now you see maybe that the name here is a little bit uh, odd. So you can also type comma auto dot assign equals f or you can also type false and then you can assign your own name to it which uh, for example could be uh, cpi oops and the assign operator and press run again and now we have the time series under the name cpi so there you have it looking up stock symbols looking up currency pairs, cryptocurrency names, all via Yahoo Finance, and economic data from the St. Louis Fed database, and also assigning your own name to uh, a symbol using the auto assign equals false. I think this is a super simple method to get financial data into R much better than uh, downloading the CSVs from the web and importing them again. So I hope that you like this method as much as I do and that you found this tutorial helpful. If you have, then um, consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing to the channel because I have quite a few videos of working with R and R Studio and many more will be coming up in the future. If you have any questions, then uh, leave them down below in the comments and I will uh, make sure to respond to you. Um, otherwise, um, again, I hope that you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great time, great uh, holidays, and I wish you a happy new year. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.